Welcome to this MLS listings training video on how to set up a hot sheet, save that hot sheet, and then we'll also be looking at how you can change the display to look at the results of your search in different ways. Let's get started uh, from the uh, matrix search window um, or search screen and we're in the residential search screen so we're getting the single family condominium and townhomes um, together and we're going to start this search um, down here in the lower right corner of the page and I'll let me scroll my mouse up a little bit so you can see the whole thing there we go now usually when you do a search you're working up in that upper left hand corner of the screen up here with your actives your contentions pending and solds your actives that's your inventory that's what you have available to sell in your marketplace but you really should also be looking at what's going on inside of that inventory what's doing a price change what's moving over to pending what came out of pending and came back into the marketplace again and that's where the hot sheet search down here in the lower right hand corner helps you out now there are three questions you need to ask in order to get your hot sheet report uh, the first question what changed that's your change type right over here what changed in the marketplace the second question is over here uh, to the left. Where did that activity change? And then the last question you need to ask is right down here under change date. And this would be when did that activity take place? The three requirements you need are what changed, where did it change, and when did it change? Let's go ahead and get started with just a basic hot sheet search. You've got some options over here on the far right hand side for what type of change took place. You can just enter or select um, these on an individual basis. I'm on a PC so I hold my control button down to choose other options in this list. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that once again using just the control button to unselect or deselect my other option here is to use these groups of changes and so in this case I'm going to say any change that took place and all the items on the list become highlighted moving on to the second question where did it change and I'm just going to use the city here for Cupertino and the last question I need to ans uh, ask is down here of when did it change and I'm going to use what we call the zero minus concept. Zero is today. And with zero minus three, I'm telling the system to go backwards three days. Zero minus three. Zero minus two, zero minus 30. Doesn't matter what that second number is, but that number designates how many days to look backwards in this case. Let's move your eyes down to the bottom left hand corner of the screen. We can see that we have 17 matches, um, 17 answers to the question any change in the city of Cupertino over the last three days and let's go get those results down here at the bottom left of the screen these are the changes and there have been 17 changes in the last three days and we have some options for how do you look at the display and those display changes are right up here in this menu sort of almost to just to the right of the center of the screen we're currently looking at the agent one line report but if I open this drop down menu and I move all the way to the very bottom of the list you'll see down here that there is a there's an actual display that we've made for you that that tells you what those changes were here we are we're now in the hot sheet display and here are those columns letting you know what actually took place over the last three days in Cupertino. Remember that each of these columns can be sorted and I'm going to sort by change type here by clicking on the column title. I now have grouped up here are the new listings that came in in the last three days. We had one price decrease. We had let's see one two three four five listings that move from active to pending status. And we had three listings that changed from pending and went into the sold category. One, one listing canceled down here at the bottom. So once again, let's just go through that real quick. I'm going to set it all up again so you can see it one more time. 
going to start with a new search residential search page. We're not going to work up here in the upper left. That would be my inventory or what sits in different statuses right now. I am going to include this time. We didn't do it in the last one, but I am going to do it in this one. I'm going to tell the system to only look at the activity for single family homes. Then we ask the three questions. What changed? I've used the any change option to select everything on the list. Where did it change? Once again, we use Cupertino. And the last question to ask down here in the bottom left, when did it change? And we like to use that 0 minus 3, 0 minus 7, how far do I need to look back? You would then move down to the results in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Always got to get the results before you can do anything, before you can email, before you can print, do a CMA. Always got to get to those results first. You have the option here in the display drop-down menu in the upper right-hand corner to move down to the very bottom of the list where you'll find the hot sheet display which will bring up this, this new way of looking at the data and it allows me to see exactly what change types took place and I can sort in that column by clicking on the title, the title header. Now, if you want to save this search so you can run it every time you need to know what took place in, in your Cupertino marketplace, you simply come down to the bottom left corner of the screen, you'll find the Save button, and you'll want to choose either the new save search option. That would mean it would save it to your system. You would need to log back on to get the answer. You could do it as a new auto email. And I recommend you view our auto email video tutorial to uh, get the details on how to run an auto email. But you could set it as an auto email and have these results sent to your cell phone if you'd like. Let's work with the new save search option though in this instance. I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call it Cupertino Hot Sheet. And probably one of the most important buttons we have in our system, it makes things easier for you when you go to look for something. I'm going to enable this favorite search on my dashboard. Here's my dashboard up here in the upper left hand corner. Click the save button. And let's move back to the dashboard so you can see where that wound up and how to access it once again. Now my dashboard may look different than your dashboard. That's because each of these widgets can be moved around the screen. That save search wound up here in my favorite searches widget. And you can see it's right down here at the very bottom, Cupertino Hot Sheet. So when I need to know what happened in Cupertino with single family homes over the last three days, I can simply come to my dashboard, click on Cupertino Hot Sheet, and there's the answer. I hope this video helped you out in setting up these activity or hot sheet searches for different places that you do your business. If you have additional needs of the MLS Listings Training Department, please feel free to contact us via email at prodev at mlslistings.com. Thank you very much.